Welcome back, everybody, live in Smith Falls, Ontario this morning. Beautiful look at uh, where we're at this morning, Victoria Park, right along the canal, and the locks aren't far. There's a campground here. And not far from here, about four or five minutes down the road, you'll find Lombardi Karting. Gordon Ricker here from Lombardi Karting here this morning. How are you, fellas? Great. Doing great. Hey, thanks for coming by and bringing some of the carts here. You even brought a young fellow to drive this one. <laughs> Young right. up and coming driver right uh, here. There you go. I, uh, this is my favorite number. When I come out to see, I'd like to have this cart no number six. We'll get you in there. Uh, listen, how long you guys been in uh, in business? How long you been doing this? We uh, opened the track. Our first race was in 2009. Right. And uh, it's been growing ever since. Now this is a facility that people can come to and, and drive carts around. They but do you to, also have races as well? They purchase their own cart and come to our facility and race that. Is that right? That's how it works. No yeah. kidding, eh? Is it uh, a growing sort of uh, sport and activity? Absolutely. It's the grassroots of racing. It's where you start if you want to get into the bigger leagues eventually. This is where you start, right at the yeah, bottom Yeah, and level. you know what? A lot of the young drivers, especially Canadian drivers, have come through the karting circuit, have That's they right. not? Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. right? Yeah. And they start as young people yeah. getting involved in driving and racing and, and getting out on these tracks and doing their thing. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Um, and how, do you drive? Yeah. Yeah, what's your name? Carson, do you drive? How long have you been driving? Um, not long? A couple no. years? No. No, just, uh, and you got your own uh, your, your own you, outfit? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it looked pretty That's good. That's his own cart. That's his own cart. Carson, this is his first year with us. He started a novice this year. Is that right? So you have divisions and instructions and all that yeah, sort of thing, instructional we, thing? We do, uh, we start the, the season off with a rookie novice school. Right. And, um, from there, that's a one-day course, and then it teaches the kids the basics, and then a lot of it's just on the track, a lot of practice. We have Saturday practices before race days, Yeah. so that's where kids can hone their skills. And yeah. yeah How big nice. is the track? It's uh, 850 meters. Right. A little less than three quarters of a mile. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. It looks like yeah. it has some great turns in it, some uh, nice straightaways and all that sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. It's very fast. Yeah. Now, this is uh, Carson's particular cart. Tell me about the typical uh, race cart that you would, would see at your track. Th this is the typical is cart. Is that right? This is a smaller version for children. Right. And then we get into... Okay, uh, let's have a look at this one over here. Sure. All right. So it's set up uh, for the size of the person, no doubt. Yep. So there's basically, it's two chassis models, a 28 mil or a 30 mil. So the 30 mil, you go a little heavier for the heavier guys. Wider seat, they're a little longer. Um, basically, we use the Briggs and Stratton engines and all our four strokes. Right. It's, it's a purpose-built engine. There are a lot of lawnmower engines, that sort of thing. That's Briggs sort of the past. Yeah. Briggs and Stratton is a big lawnmower engine company. Yeah. yeah. And they have a separate racing division. Just so dedicated. it's an actual racing motor. Yeah, That's right correct. from their motorsports yeah. division. Wow. So you race all day on five dollars worth of gas. Yeah, no kidding. Eh? Yeah. It's quite economical. Oh, very much. What's so. it? What's it? If someone was to get into that, what does it cost to get a cart? A uh, new cart. We can put you in a brand new cart for five thousand dollars. Five grand. Yeah. And away you go, and that'll last you a while. Five, six seasons. The yeah. engine itself is designed to last three or four seasons. Is that right? And, yeah. and again, it's custom fit for you, right? No matter who, who you are, how big yeah, you are. Yeah, so we yeah. set the card up for you. Right. You know, so it, everybody uses basically the same chassis, the same engines, but yeah. then the card is tailor fit to you. Yeah. So it's really cool, eh? It's awesome. It's a lot of fun, too, and yeah. a great activity for people and families, I'm sure, to get involved it's in. It's Lombardi. Rick and I have been around the sport a long time. And, and the karting got a little carried away in the early 2000s. They thought all the F1 scouts were in the stands. Right. And what we tried to do here was put it back to the grassroots, you know, family-oriented racing. You know, we have a lot of mother, father, yeah. sister, brothers, all yeah. this. Yeah. You know, it's great. A lot of families, uh, you know, make it their sport. Right? Absolutely. So they travel yeah, yeah. to different events and, and yeah. uh, make, a, make a good time of yeah. it. We, uh, the Lombardi is every two weeks, like every second Sunday. Yeah. And we have some guys now this year, we're doing a regional series. Gotcha. And uh, so I've been looking after them, and it's the first time they've been out of Lombardi. We've yeah. been to Bossport. Yeah, you're what, you're the only facility of its kind in Eastern Sunday. Ontario, That's correct? correct? That's correct. Yes. Yeah. How do people, real quick, guys, how do people find out more about your facility and how to get involved? LombardiCarding.com. Go to the website. Yeah. And then go to the track. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, Upcoming race this Sunday. The website is not a track, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> this Sunday you got races going you on? You have a race yeah. this Sunday. That's yeah. right. Starts at 10 a.m. Listen, come on out and have a look. It's, I bet you it's fun to watch, too. Very much so. 